guys and welcome back to today's video. So today I thought I'd film some of my A-level artwork. So I'm not claiming to be like an artist or anything like that. Some of it is really shoddy, but I just thought I'd go for it to be honest. Earlier this week, me and my dad went into his loft and we actually got it out um, because I'm still in the process of moving some of my stuff from my dad's house to my new house. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd go for it to be honest and I thought I'd film it. I did actually try and film this video about two nights ago now. Um, I sat there for probably about 40 minutes going through everything and then realised that I never pressed play, unfortunately. So yeah, I thought that I would do that this morning. I have actually bothered to do my hair today, it's not the best. I literally haven't straightened it for, I don't know, since February now, so that's really long. Um, I've decided to put a little bit of makeup on today. So I thought I'd do a little outfit of the day as well. So I have got this shirt on. So this was from Asda, it's got this nice collar. Um, it's got these little ruffle sleeves. And then, I don't know if you can see, I've got these leggings on. So I'm still really self-conscious, I've still got like a little bit of a mum to them. So I'm really self-conscious about that. But these leggings are really nice. So they're kind of like the ripped ones that I showed you from Sainsbury's. And I've just got some fluffy socks on because I don't really plan on going anywhere today. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's jump right into today's video. So I'm just going to be filming this video in my living room today. If you can hear the dry, I'm really sorry, I'm just doing so much laundry today. Um, but I have just got this massive folder, so this is what I collected from my dad. So it has actually got art and photography in it. So today I'm just going to be going through some of my art bits. But if you are interested in seeing what I did for A-level photography and um, getting some ideas for maybe a project that you're doing, then just please comment below. So I thought I should actually say so, just, these are in there. So when I went to my dad's house, we actually found out my old brownie things. So this was my little rainbows tabard. It's got really shoddy sewing, but we just found that, so that was just shoved in the top of the folder. And this was my little brownie thing as well. So I did actually go to brownies, rainbows, and guides, although I didn't really like guides, so I ended up quitting. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get my art stuff out. So I think I've got two art folders and three photography folders. So, um, I just wanted to say as well, I did end up doing, so I did one year at a different college and then one year at another college so what happened was some of my friends actually didn't pass their year of a-levels in the first year so they had to kind of change courses i think so they didn't get the grades to stay sorry change colleges so i decided to change with them just because they were obviously my best friends at the time so i ended up doing one year of college somewhere else and one year at my old school so these are the, my folders from my second year which would be year 13 yeah year 13 um, and I haven't actually got my folders from year 12, they must be at my dad's house still, or somewhere else. So, what I really ha hated about school and like GCSE art and A-level art is that the teachers always pick the topics, so they give you like a starting point and you had to interpret that way, like how you thought. So we had the topic, a mystery and imagination, so I decided to take that down, the idea of children and childhood imagination and things like that. So as you'll see through my folder, things literally progress and completely diverse. They're, they're not actually, I didn't do anything to do with like imagination or anything like that, I don't really think. Um, but you'll see as we go on. So obviously I started off with some sort of mood boards and looking at Sorry about that. So the door went, Esme came home, I had to change a dirty nappy. <laughs> so I forgot where I was. So basically I was saying that the topic was mystery and imagination. I didn't get to choose it. And I think what I ended up doing was not really related to mystery and imagination at all. Um, Esme is actually sat behind the camera on her bouncer. So I've muted the telly, turned her bouncer music off. So if you hear any rattling or anything like that, that's Esme jumping. Or should I say learning to jump? Um, so I was just going to flick through, show you a few bits that I did. Um, obviously I'm not saying that any of it is actually good, but I just thought people might be interested in where my project went and maybe some ideas for their own projects as well, because it can be quite daunting thinking of like what to do on an open page as well. So obviously I've got a massive blank sketchbook when I started and it was just, I just hated thinking of ideas like that. It's actually my worst part. <laughs> it's just staring at me. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you a few things I did. If you're really interested, then comment down below. I might do a full video for you guys. I've also got my big photography sketchbook, so I'll be happy to do that. So this is one of the artists that I looked at. They did childhood portraits, and that is one of the portraits that I drew. So as I'm going through, you'll see that I really didn't like any of the media apart from pencil. Obviously, we were kind of forced to do different medias. Um, so, yeah. 
this is another one that I did. That one's not like good. So that's my brother actually when he was a couple of years old. Back in the 90s. So in here, this one, as you can see, like I practice in different sizes, different mediums. So I tried pen. Um, just to kind of just see what happened really and see what I like best. A lot of these are really small sketches just to fill the pages. So this one was a watercolour sketch. Um, it's really rubbish. As you can see, the colours all ran and it just did not go to plan. So also I can't draw hands either, so they look really manky. Uh, but that was supposed to be me and my little my little cousin's, yeah, my cousin's little daughter. Um, this one below was actually me in with a fringe when I was about 18 or 17. Um, and that is just a little sketch of that. And then this small bit was like, reworking into the eye a bit more in detail so we had to like obviously demonstrate that we could draw from primary and secondary sources so things that we did ourselves and stuff like that so we did actually go to some sort of life drawing class as well we had like um obviously a naked woman to draw that is what i did just some quick sketches that took a couple of minutes never done life drawing before apart from then so yeah that's that one um, so then I started looking at this artist who I found really fascinating. So this was just um, a page of detail that I did on her. So she did all these like lovely drawings of butterflies and things like that. Esme is really fascinated. <laughs> Are you looking, Esme? Are you watching? So this is just one copy that I did of her work. This was actually in crayon. So I quite enjoyed doing that. I remember doing that at like two o'clock in the morning one morning. <laughs> Then I took some primary images. Um, this is just a piece that I practiced on using mixed media. So then as part of my experiment, I went to Stratford Butterfly Farm and took loads of pictures of the thing, like the butterflies and things that I saw there, just to use for my final piece. So at the end of each module, we had to do like a big exam with final pieces. So, so we also had to do like a demonstration of what our final piece might look like. So this was just an example piece. Obviously, it's not finished because the whole point of it was just that it was just an experiment. So I decided that I was going to draw like the face in pencil because that was my strongest thing. And then this is watercolor crayons, and then this is tissue paper, and then that is um, I think watercolor crayons mixed with some sort of oil pastel or something like that. And that is again watercolor paints. So that's the experiment and then this is just a mock-up piece that i did it's not the final piece so that was not too good but um this was again all your pastels and so is that and then around the background was like um, watercolor pencil and stuff like that it's not really de very detailed around the back so that was quite rushed but um I have actually got a massive final piece. It's probably a little bit better than that, but it's actually at my dad's house. I think I've got an old picture of it on Instagram, so if I've got one, I'll find it and print screen if you are and share it on here now. So then this is another piece that I did. It's just a photo of, of the piece of work. I don't actually know where all of my work went. I don't know if there's another folder at my dad's or whatever, but I haven't got too much of it here. It seems like I've just kind of clubbed everything together in one folder and then some stuff that is missing so for this piece i was taking examples from one of my artists i drew this butterfly on my sister's face when she was probably about 13 14 and then i just could like redrew it in um, watercolor crayon and watercolor paint sorry yeah it's me So yeah, actually looking in my book now, it says that this was this was my second major experiment. And then this was my final plan. Oh, there is actually, yeah, there is actually a picture in here of my final piece. So I don't know if you'll be able to see that. But obviously, as you can see, that was me in pencil and then got some butterflies and things like that. Obviously, I, I look quite different to what I did back then. 
but it's not really the best piece of work I've ever done. So that was that project anyway and what I really hate about art is we had to write like massive essays about why we did what we did and project that I did. Um, the topic that we got given was growth and evaluation. So this sketchbook you can see is really rushed, everything was just stuck in like on top of each other or by glue tap. I never actually finished it. So this is the first piece that I did. So within growth and what was the topic again? Growth and evolution. Sorry, I don't know if I said that the first time. I said evaluation. Um, I did decided to do like family and like genealogy and genetics and stuff like that. So this is just a picture I did of my cousin's little girl. That was just in, um, just in pencil crayon I think on top of like a spray painted background. So this is um, just a piece that I did in pen. It's not the best work at all. I'm really not very good in pen, but I give it a go. This one is what I did in. Um, I think it's acrylic paint so I can't quite remember but again it's on like a spray painted background again it's really not the best piece I'm really not very good with paint at all I don't have much experience of using paint and it's really not something that I would ever do but of course we were forced to kind of um do different things and experiment with different medias which is how you got your marks up so I basically wrote that in this project my intent is to study the genetics of a family and look how they or don't look how they do or don't look alike um, and how they are different so I was aiming to photograph different things and go from there so as you can see this is kind of my idea so I did like I photographed my sister and myself against each other to compare obviously it's not a very good photograph at all I don't actually know if my mum took it or something but then this is just like a little sketch that I did of that it's not very good at all but Again, like I said, I'm not very good at paints, but that was just a quick sketch. It's just a quick one that I did in the style of an artist. Um, that was just watercolours, I believe, on with pen on like an old piece of book. This is kind of like a plan that I did for a final piece. So that's me, that's my mom, that's my sister. As you can see, as the pictures go down, they look really shoddy, but that was just... Um, something that I did with a bit of watercolour over the top. Hopefully you can see all of these because obviously I'm probably not close enough but if anything you can't see I will just go back and take a picture and put it over the top for you guys. So this was an artist or like some pictures that I found off Google. This was really interesting to me. I really like this idea of looking in the mirror and like having different generations being held by an older generation. So that's what I kind of did. So um as I said before art was a lot of writing and stuff like that so this was me holding different pictures and again on this side different pictures of me at different times so this was another experiment I did it's on like a piece of hessian paper like cloth I'm not really sure what that is um so this was to have like had to be done with pen like felt tip because it wouldn't draw over and then there's bits of watercolor on there again but it's the same sort of picture as the one I did before Ended up doing this little piece with pins so it's like I had a bit of fabric and I think I just stuck pins in the paper it was just something that I did at home just to kind of get the marks up to show that I really experimented with different things so as you can see like literally this sketchbook from the second half of the year was just so rushed like this is an example of my final plan like different ideas I could do and it was just so rushed I don't know why it ended up like that to be honest so half of the sketchbook is literally empty in the last year of six form I literally hated it like I never really went into college bless you Esme <laughs> I never really went into college um I really didn't enjoy it I kind of lost my love for art and things like that so everything was just so rushed but this was a piece of my this was like um preparation for my final piece obviously again I had to show that I was experimenting with different medias I just felt like it was really forced I think that my style of art when I wanted to do art and I was interested I just wanted to be able to just sit on my bed and sketch what I wanted to sketch I didn't want to be told what to do or anything like that I really struggled with imagination and thinking of ideas so for this I found it really hard to be able to sit there and be forced to do something that maybe I didn't want to draw so this anyway like I said is different medias normally I wouldn't do anything like that but again that's just what we had to do for our exam and on the back was just um some little background ideas that I did that I think I took pictures of and put in my sketchbook as well so this is my final piece it is really shoddy and um, it was on a piece of cardboard as well so 
I, I think on the day of exam, literally I had no preparation of what I was going to do. I'm pretty sure my folder was literally done all after my exam as well. Um, so it was not a good example of what to do for your A-level art for the second half of the year. Um, but yeah, I think everything was done after my exam, so I kind of just worked backwards of what I was going to do to f just literally to fill my book. Like I said, it's literally full of fillers and little bits of experiments just to show that I actually did something. So I think on the day of my exam, I was literally, I had no clue what to do. So I ended up doing on like a flimsy piece of cardboard and then realised that because I was using paint, every single thing that I did on this piece of cardboard disintegrated like the slightest bit of water that went onto here, the cardboard just went a messy. So it's not very good at all but this is my let me see so this is supposed to be my mum that's my sister and then that's me i don't really know why i did it in that order because obviously i'm older than my sister but that's just what happened it was done in i don't know if it's i think it's acrylic paints although i'm not actually quite sure no it can't be i don't know it might be watercolor i don't quite know it doesn't feel like acrylics but then some parts of it does, so I'm not really sure. But um, this background is really rubbish. It's just something that one of my artists did. So obviously when we looked at other artists, we had to bring them into our final piece to show that we use their work for some reason, I don't really know, but it was just a way of getting the marks to be honest. So that's what happened. Um, not something that I'm proud of at all, but that's just what happened. So I would really like to find my other artwork actually from my other years. So I've got loads, I'm sure that I should have loads of GCSE artwork that some of it is actually better than this. Um, and I've got all my first year available art as well. So I really don't know if that's, actually I think that's upstairs. I'll have to go and look later. If I can find it, then I'll um, insert a clip at the end of this video of my other A-level art as well. A lot of that was like stained glass windows um and i did a travel theme as well um yeah i'm pretty sure i did about mats and stuff i can't quite remember but anyway again that was for, kind of like a false idea of what we were made to do so um if i find that i'll include that and obviously if i can find my final piece for this butterfly thing then i'll include that as well um i do actually have like a m massive madonna piece as well that i did in year 11 i think so that is definitely my dad's love because I know that he absolutely loves Madonna. So if I do find that or whatever, I'll get a picture of that for you guys as well. Um, if there's anything that you wanted to see, maybe a more detailed look in the sketchbox. Or like I said, literally I've got <laughs> three massive sketchbooks full of photography ideas um, and experiments as well. Because I did actually quite like photography. So if you wanted to see any of that, please let me know. <laughs> as he's getting too happy in her bounce there. Do you want to see this, me? She's been having fun in her bounce, haven't you, baby? Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> so cute. So thanks so much for watching. I really hope that you liked today's video. If you did, please be kind enough to give it a like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. I really hope that you come back to see some more videos. And like I said, if you could put a comment down below of anything that you enjoyed or anything that you'd like to see, or even any unrelated video ideas to this video, then I'd really appreciate that as well. And I hope to see you soon. Bye. As me say, bye. <laughs>